This is News for Tucson, live at 10. And good evening, everybody. Thank you for being with us tonight. I'm Eric Fink. An Arizona woman is tonight more than 2,000 miles from home in our nation's capital, carrying her son's memory on a quest for change. Tyler Champagne was just 27 years old when he died last year from a fentanyl overdose. His mom, Lisa Tyler, became an activist, and she's trying to raise awareness about the dangers of this drug. This afternoon in D.C., she and others shared their stories, hoping President Joe Biden and members of Congress will hear their cries. This mom wants a stronger border, and she wants authorities to stop the flow of fentanyl before it flows into the hands of our kids. This is not the same drug as it was years ago. You know, these kids, if they experiment, they die. This is the third rally in the nation's capital held by the group Lost Voices of Fentanyl. 